Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Silverstone today on a Kenwood product launch. So some new products and some current products in the range. Let's get into it. So guys, here is Keith. Hello, Hi, how you doing, Roger? Right. I am really good. Thanks for the invite. Fantastic place, being here at Silverstone, obviously. And uh, we're gonna go through some of your range. Now, Definitely. let's start on some of the new units. So you've got the DMX 8021 dabs, which replaces the 8020 dabs. Yep, so that's our high-end wireless car play, beautiful screen on it. Wireless CarPlay is definitely where the market is moving to now. Obviously, everyone wants CarPlay. It's right. becoming an expected feature. So you get in your car, phone's in your pocket, or it's there, you know, yeah. in your purse, or whatever it is, uh, and yeah. off you go. As long as it's in the car, whatever you're listening to in the house is there, your navigation's there. I've shown, obviously, an iPhone. Yep. This is also Samsung friendly and yep. everything else. So it's got Android Auto, which is Android's version of CarPlay but it will also do Android mirroring, so it'll mirror whatever's on your screen of your Android. And that's wireless, so that Fantastic. enables you whatever apps, you know, it's quite handy if you're parked up waiting for someone, or if it's a camper van, things like that, you could get some really good entertainment going, especially on like the 8 where it's a really good screen as well. So feature-wise over the current model, the 8020 dabs, now if you guys haven't seen the 8020 dabs, if you click here, you can watch that video. That's a fantastic unit. And one of our best sellers when we get into the high end. It is, it is the high end favorite. Short body, about the depth of a car key. Means a lot more vehicles that can be fitted into. Also, it's a lot easier if you've got big wiring looms, big interfaces, um, doesn't require any cutting. Just to remind you guys, this is mechless. So it means that it does not have a CD or DVD slot. That's correct. Hence why it's short body. I also note here that <laughs> I was, type C. That's just what I was gonna say, yeah. the point is that. So type C is the way forward. Um, obviously, it's the newest technology of USB the fastest, it's got the best data transfer, um, fastest charging, it's more stable, um, and there's also other things coming for USB-C. You're, you're looking so at future connectivity. It's future connectivity. If you look at new cars as well, they've all got USB-C now. It's the way the platform is going. And if you are into your high-end audio and connectivity is important, if you want to add amplifiers and so on, you've got three RCA pre -acts, all five at volt. five volt. Yeah. So you've got a high voltage output there as well. So fantastic bit of kit. This is a brand new product. By the time the video goes out, this product may or may not be available. But if you click in the description below, there's a link to the Cardi Security website and all the features on this product are there. Now, moving on, we've got another new model here. So this one, this is a very exciting bit of kit. So this one is basically the junior of that. So it's slightly smaller screen, 6.8 inch, plays seven inch, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and wired mirroring. So you can still get the level of connectivity using your phone. The pre-outs, a little bit less, but for the price point, for what it does, it, it's hitting that thing. It's got a beautiful, beautiful screen and a wireless car. Frame. So while we're talking about the screen, what I always love about Kenwood and the JVC products is the interface, the GUI. Yeah. Very easy to use, very user-friendly. When you start your car, bang, yeah, it's quick. on. Quick. You know, the boot up time is fantastic. The last thing you want is to jump in your car, 60 seconds later, the screen still trying to you know, turn on. Exactly. Well, and, and this is where ultimately where it comes down to the Ken, Kenwood brand. Everyone knows it, everyone recognizes it. Connectivity wise as well, you still can add amplifiers. You've got three outputs here, three RCA pre -ads. You've also got two, two camera yeah. inputs, front and rear. I notice on the 8021, you've got three camera inputs. Why would you want three camera inputs? So they're selectable. You could have left and right for blind spot and a dash right. cam or, or a reverse cam. So with the DRVN520, which is one of the Kenwood dash cams, yeah. if we connected that to the 8021, what would happen? So that is, it's a discrete dash cam. So up, up by your mirror light, all dash cams, that wires into that. It's got his SD card in it, but you access it through there. So the playback is through there. And it's a nice touch and a few of our high end units do, do take that. In terms of price point, guys, both these units, description below, you've got current price points. Now moving on swiftly, DMX 5020 dabs. I absolutely love this stereo. It's in fact Everyone our best-selling yeah. CarPlay stereo, full stop. Now, actually on a bit more attractive price point, if you've been hiding under a rock and you don't know about <laughs> this unit, click this link here and you can watch our video on the DMX 5020 dabs. Fantastic bit of kit, Apple CarPlay, obviously Android Auto, uh, RCA pre out so you've got two pre out 6.8 inch screen, Fantastic bit of kit. I feel like it's the industry benchmark. Mm. So it won, Auto Express awarded it their wow. in-car product of the year. 
like you say, at that price point, it's quite a tough competitive market. But sure. when you really drill down, again, on paper, they all look the same, but we've got Bluetooth 4.1 in that. You'll see competitors at Bluetooth 4, so it's more stable, slightly longer range, a little bit quicker, both at pairing and reacting. Um, we've got a WVGA screen on it, whereas our competitors don't. They've just got the high contrast. Um, so there's lots of little elements, yeah. but we really are a bounce Fantastic above Fantastic bit of kit. And our customers and reviewers tell us it. So, If you do want something a little bit cheaper, you've got the DMX 125 dabs. Now, you're thinking, well, it's a screen. Surely that does CarPlay. It doesn't. It's really an entry-level screen. It does wired Android mirroring, and you can add a reversing camera as, as well if you wanted to, but that's at a price point. So now let's move on to some of your other units. Definitely. So guys, staying with doubled in screens, staying with CarPlay. However, we now add a CD stroke DVD mechanism. So these are what we call full body units. So they are the full depth. Three units here, 9190 dabs, 7190 dabs, and the 5190 dabs. Do you want to give a quick overview on spec as we yeah, go up so in the range? Yeah, so as we get into these, they've all got fixed navigation on. So they've all got the Garmin, which everyone sort of knows and loves. Fantastic. It, yeah. it just, I know everyone's got a way of navigating. They use their phones, different different things. But just having the fixed nav, it's just, it's just bulletproof. You know, it is, it is the way. As you get through, you get a slightly bigger screen and the motorized fascias on these two. On the 9, we've got HD screen. It's the only HD screen at that size. Yeah, 6.8 inch um, HD capacitive touchscreen. Uh, and again, that's your audio file model. It's got the high pre-outs. You've got an equalizer. EP, made all of for that. HD music, all, all of that sort of thing. Um, if you go into the description below, we've got dedicated links to each uh, YouTube video that we've dropped on our channel. Uh, fantastic bits of kit. In terms of price point, a little bit more than the standard CarPlay units, which are mechless, because obviously you've got Garmin navigation built in and you got CD and DVD. Plus you also get three years worth of map updates free. Yep, included. From, included. from, uh, from Garmin as well. So let's now move on to two exciting units. Definitely. Look at the size of these two screens. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, how am I gonna get a 10.1 inch into my doubled in slot? Well, the screen is slightly bigger than the doubled in slot and that's how you get the unit in. So it's like a floating display. Now, the DMX 9720 XDS, we've already featured on our channel. In fact, if you tap this link here, you can watch that video. Fantastic bit of kit, industry leading bit of kit. Industry leader, HD 10.1 inch screen. And like you said, fixed on a doubled in, but you can adjust the height. So it's quite variable. It's got four different positions and it is also on a, you can tilt it forwards and backwards on a nice stiff What mechanism. an amazing bit of kit. I just love the size of the display there. Uh, fantastic, and as you said, HD, so the quality on that yeah, is just exceptional. And also we do a HD reverse camera now, um, which I think might be a first, first HD reverse camera on the market, um, but we do one that interfaces with these, and okay. so your backup camera when you're in HD, your colors, your light, the resolution and the resolution amazing. on that size of yeah. screen is phenomenal. Now, so. these look very similar but there is a significant difference. There is a significant difference. So ultimately, they both got four camera inputs. So that's the first thing to talk about. So you've got your dash cam input, your rear view, and your blind spots. So it's ideal for larger vehicles, which obviously with a larger dash is where these are popular. The new one, the DNR992 RVS, introduces Garmin's motorhome navigation. So it's fixed navigation, so it's ready to go. This is anyone with a camper van in that world, the sort of your big Ducatos and stuff like that, they're aware of, of this platform. Um, it's one of the most popular formats and it's got the camper contact and ACSI sights on it. You can put in your heights, widths, axles, weights, length, what you're towing and the size of that as well. So you can really get the dimensions of your vehicle in. Probably thinking, why do you need to put that in? Well, basically, if you've got a large motorhome, you've got to take into account that there's some roads your motorhome may not fit down because of its size and the height. If you've got a low bridge, how's your motorhome going to go underneath that bridge? So that's why you need to put the dims and the weights in. So yes, probably, again, industry-leading product, this. Massively so. Yeah. Not Massively available so. yet, but no. will be available shortly. Uh, details for this are on our website, but we're not sure when this will be released. It'll be forthcoming in the next month yeah, or two. Imminent. And of course, a, a key feature of both of these, wireless CarPlay again. We've discussed Fantastic. its importance, but Ooh. in something as big as a motorhome. Um, and our wireless CarPlay, again, we're top of the market. It's got both aerials in it. So it works on the three, um, 3G and the 5G bands. So if you're in a big vehicle, some of 
Some available, you have to be within a metre or two for wireless car play. Right. Ours will work in the, the whole of a motorhome. So, singled in audio. Now we've got five units here, two of them we've already featured on the channel recently, and then we've got some mechless units as well. Again, mechless meaning that there's no CD mechanism. So there's a good range of Bluetooth, DAB, mechless, singled in stereos. You've got obviously USB on the front and Oxygen on the front. Some of these have Alexa. Now why would you want Alexa on a singled in stereo? So there's lots of things you can do um, from planning your trip, check in with weather, you can add stuff to your notes or your shopping list whilst you're driving, you can ask it to play your music, you can ask it to set reminders on your phone. Um, there's the, the, all of the Alexa umbrella and then the products that go with it. If, you know, if you've got Hive, you can turn your heating on before you even get home. Great bit of kit. It's, yeah, there's, there's a, it's a box of tricks. It is. So we have two doubled in units, one which is a mechless doubled in and one which has a CD mechanism. The slightly more expensive unit, DPX7300 DAB, also has DAB and you've got front uh, USB and aux input, you've got three RCA pre out so you can expand obviously with external amplifiers. And then you've got the mechless unit which doesn't have the CD built in. No DAB on this one, but you've got Bluetooth and you've got RCA pre out as well. There is a marine unit that Ken would also do, which is here, uh, KMR M508 DAB, again in the description below. If you tap on the link, you've got all the specs to these units. Okay, finally guys, there's a small overview of the speaker and amplifier range that Kenwood currently offer. We've got obviously the Class D five channel amplifier, a really compact four channel amplifier, which is a really key price point. The active boxes, these two we have covered on the channel already. Again, in the description below, you can have a look at those uh, videos. These are fantastic. Very popular. They, Very popular. they really pack a punch for something that's so compact and you've obviously got the separate bass controller. It, it's amazing the difference that these, even onto a standard car system, almost like a first mod, if you want more from your speakers, take the bass out the doors and get a proper, proper sound. And finally, there is an array of speakers to fit all sizes, anything. you know, yeah, four inch, five inch, six inch, six by nines, components. So uh, again, all of these products are on our website, cardiscurity.com. If you go into the description below, we've got all the details on some of the products that we've covered. Um, any questions you have, of course, uh, drop them down below or email us direct and we're happy to uh, provide you the information you need. The stereos, you do need fitting kits for these stereos. So, for example, if you've got a Ford Focus and you want to put a doubled in stereo in there, a CarPlay unit, you're going to need a fitting kit which will comprise of a doubled in fascia, a wiring harness and an aerial adapter. Drop us an email and we can guide you accordingly. Guys, thanks for watching. Fantastic range of products already available and some that will be hitting our shelves pretty soon. Uh, fantastic venue here. It's been a great day. Great product launch. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you like our content, smash the like button. Make sure you share and make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more content coming your way. I'll see you on another episode on Cast TV.